In a season when a dressing room revolt cost Jose Mourinho his job as manager of Manchester United it is fitting that it is 100 years since one of the club's greatest ever captains was born. Johnny Carey, the Irishman known as Gentleman John in recognition of the classy way he conducted himself both on and off the pitch, was the the natural leader of Matt Busby's first great post-war United teams. He lifted the FA Cup at Wembley in 1948 and skippered a side that finished second in four out of five seasons in the old first division before they were crowned champions in 1952. But it was Carey's role in helping Busby manage a potentially damaging dressing room rift that played a key role in helping the Scot establish himself as a man not to be messed with at the start of his reign. When United reached the FA Cup semi-final in 1948, the heads of Busby's players were turned by rumours that opponents Derby would be getting bonus payments of up to £100 a man to beat the Reds at Hillsborough. Football league rules at the time set the maximum wage at just £8 a week. So some disgruntled United players urged Carey to confront Busby on their behalf. When Carey's request for the club to agree to pay substantial bonuses for a Wembley appearance was turned down, the genial Dubliner ensured his teammates concentrated on the game ahead by explaining that it was impossible for the club to break the draconian financial rules. United beat Derby 3-1 before dispatching Blackpool 4-2 in a brilliant final that went down in Old Trafford legend. But Carey had to intervene again in pre-season when he was once again asked by his teammates to ask for more money from the club. This time the United captain argued that the club's hands were tied only for big dressing room characters like Johnny Morris, Charlie Mitten and Henry Cockburn to insist that it was his duty as skipper to present their demands to Busby. The United manager refused their request, although Busby tried to broker a compromise by asking club directors to give every player a new set of golf clubs that was also turned down. Later that season, with United set to meet Wolves in the FA Cup semi-finals, Morris was sensationally sold to Derby for £24,000. United lost the tie after a replay, but Busby's power base was secure. And in the summer of 1950, Mitten became known as the Bogota Bandit after accepting an offer of a £40 a week to play for Colombia's Independiente Santa Fe during a club tour of the United States. How Marinho could have done with a man of Carey's character in his corner this season. Carey was born on February 23, 1919 in the port town of Dunlaugher. He joined United at 17 from St. James Gate, and although he served the club for 17 years, he lost seven seasons of his career to the war. Carey played for both the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland teams and was named Footballer of the Year in 1949. He also managed Nottingham Forest to second place in the first division in 1967, behind Busby's United. Carey passed away at his home in Macclesfield at the age of 76 in August 1995. A new book Gentleman John by Roy Cavanagh MB and Carl Abbott detailing his life is out now and is available to buy at Amazon 